Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about this testimonial, this uh, headline testimonial, and um, it's related also to something that Ben Settle is always talking about, and it's about being in your market. Now, what does that mean? For those who are not in advertising, this may not make any sense. What What do you mean being with your market or in the market? Basically, your market is the people that are going to buy from you. The group of people, you know, the demographic that is in, potentially interested in your product. So anytime that you're not thinking about yourself, but thinking about your market, about what they want, then you're safe. And then you can uh, definitely craft really great campaigns because you are uh, trying to benefit your customer. You're, you're thinking about the market and not about yourself, yeah? So it's kind of a weird situation where thinking about yourself is actually the worst thing you can do to benefit yourself, yeah? So um, it's like certain stores that, you know, make it difficult for you to return a product, you know? Um, some old-fashioned stores, I remember in Toronto, uh, you know, you would come back with a product, and oh, so what's wrong with it? Oh, well, I, you know and trying to weasel their way out of returning you your money, right? Um, and actually, that hurts them, yeah? For I, I will never shop again in those stores that do that, right? So anytime that you're looking at, um, you know, your market's needs and your market's wants, Obviously, you don't want to go bankrupt for your market. Uh, ideally, the more you help people, the more you will be rewarded um, financially and also spiritually. It's, it's beautiful to have a customer base that re respects you. It's really beautiful. It's better to just, just return their money um, if they're not fully satisfied, right? So uh, this headline has this wonderful um, quality to it that not only is it a testimonial, which is a good thing, you do want to use testimonials, <clears throat> but it also is in the voice of your market. And it's also the author of of uh, the book that they're selling so it's a triple triple whammy so what do you do if you want to speak like your market if you want to have a headline that speaks like your market like this one for example um, what you can do uh, nowadays I think the easiest way to do it uh, is to go online to groups where these people meet maybe on reddit uh, maybe on Facebook or actual dedicated forums. Um, and then you you will see people saying things or, you know, writing certain concise expressions, right? And, for example, some guy might, might ask, so um, how was your experience with that sales program and somebody might say well that's how i raised myself you know from failure and then you have your headline yeah you can sometimes take one of those um posts you know or a sentence from a post and turn it into a headline with minimal changes yeah so and it's very powerful it is your market's language and you know um you will you will you will greatly benefit from that also that's a reason why you probably should avoid um advertising in areas that you really have no idea what you're doing yeah so for example if i 
if somebody came to me with a golf ad, you know, that they want to sell uh, a golf product, yeah, I would probably turn that down. I'm not a golfer. Actually, I don't even play sports very much. Um, and I don't know how they speak. I don't know any any of the vocabulary. I don't know how to how they call their equipment. Nothing. Zero. Right. Um, of course, I probably would never be approached. I would never be approached by a you know a big golf company to um, to write for them because they probably know who the copywriters are that that cater to that market right now the the king in that market is probably john carlton uh he has written some great books and some amazing courses highly recommended and he specializes well i don't know if he specializes but he's highly successful in in the golf market yeah so um yeah guys uh this is part of research so it's the most uh, tedious part of of copywriting but it will save you uh, believe me um by the way this ad was written by victor schwab um again his book is amazing how to write a good advertisement and it's pretty cheap on kindle um and it's very well written um it's funny with i i feel at least with victor schwab that his book is so modest yeah like even the promise in his uh book how to write write a good advertisement he's not he's not offering you how to how to sell you know ice to eskimos or anything like that just a very soft um the promise um, maybe that's what creates the trust people see oh okay he's not he's not over hyping this um, maybe I don't know and uh, he, the in general the the tone of the book is very modest yeah and then he comes and writes these these uh, uh, kick butt headlines um, yeah that that survive for decades yeah, products use his his headlines for decades. Um, yeah, amazing copywriter. Uh, look him up. And of course, Ben Settle. Uh, anything that he has is uh, really great. A great read and also cheap. And he talks a lot about the market as well. Very important. Thank you, guys.